Welcome to Airbase. Airbase is the only solution that brings together accounts payable, corporate cards, and employee expense reimbursements all in one comprehensive spend management platform. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to your bank account and your NetSuite general ledger so we can pull money appropriately and so we can make the appropriate journal entries to your NetSuite GL. During the onboarding, you're going to be connecting your checking account. As well, you're going to be connecting to your NetSuite general ledger. This is going to allow us to properly map to your GL accounts and ensure that all your transactions sync to the appropriate accounts in NetSuite. Down below are additional options of how you can manage your integration, including bringing your NetSuite amortization templates and deciding how and when bill payment ledger entries are synced to the general ledger. During your onboarding, you're gonna be creating an Airbase money out clearing account, which is essentially an account within Airbase that is holding your pre-funded deposits for your virtual card and physical card payments. Airbase will automatically add the corresponding Airbase money out clearing account to your chart of accounts in NetSuite. You also have the option to use an existing bank account from your chart of accounts to map to the Airbase money out clearing account. If I go over to the accounting section in Airbase, I'm gonna be greeted with the accounting tab. And in here, I'm gonna see my available balance. And this is the available balance that's in the Airbase money out clearing account. And this is what is being pre-funded to support your virtual card and physical card spend. So let's take a look at how one of these transactions actually sync to your general ledger. The first transaction we're gonna show is the ACH load into that Airbase pre-funded cash account. And here you can see, I have the link to the ledger entry here and the link to the posting in NetSuite. And when I click the NetSuite icon, I'm gonna be linked to the journal entry in NetSuite. Here you can see the journal entry for the $50,000 debit to the Airbase cash account. And then you can also see the $50,000 credits from your bank account. And in this case, the SVB checking account. And finally, on the right-hand side under the memo field is our audit trail. This is gonna capture the entire history of this spend and give you a direct link to the entry made inside of Airbase. This is gonna make sure you're never scrambling to get all the documentation or history for any internal or external audit. Now, if I head over to ledger entries on the top right of the page, I'm gonna be greeted with all of the entries that are either pending to be synced or that have been fully synced to the general ledger. Here you can see the pending transactions, amortized entries, payables that are synced, and transactions where the sync is complete. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at all the transactions where the sync has completed into NetSuite. Now let's look at how transactions sync into NetSuite for corporate cards. So let's take a look at one of these virtual card transactions. This is a $500 ad spend with Google. It's been mapped to the proper category for lead generation in marketing. There's a note here. I get to see the owner, the entry date, the subsidiary, and the GL vendor name. Now, if I go here into NetSuite, I'm able to view the transactions that are synced to NetSuite in terms of the original bill and the payment. And in this case, for virtual card requests, it is synced as a bill in NetSuite and then as a payment separately. So let's take a look at how it actually looks like as a bill synced to NetSuite when the request has been approved. So we're in the NetSuite page and you can see this is the Google Ads bill that's been synced for this virtual card. We see the vendor's Google Ads. We see that it's gone to the accounts payable account because it was a liability at the time and the amount of $500. We also see the subsidiary that you're with. With Airbase, we support multiple subsidiaries, domestic or international. So depending on your subsidiary, it will be mapped here correctly. We also see the due date, the posting period, and in the memo field, we have a direct link back into Airbase for a full audit trail. This is gonna allow any internal or external auditors to get all of the information they need from the moment spend is requested to payment. Now, if I go back to this memo field and go to this URL, it's going to bring me back into Airbase into the details of that specific transaction. If I wanted to see the receipt, I can go ahead and also showcase the receipt. Now, if I wanted to look at the payment entry, I'll just simply go to view synced payment in NetSuite. And this will again load up the NetSuite general ledger and I'll be able to see the details for this payment. And what's important here, you can see it's coming out of the Airbase cash account. That's the available balance in the accounting tab that Airbase has taken from your main bank account into the Airbase cash account. All corporate cards are paid from that balance. This is how Airbase syncs virtual card and physical card transactions to your NetSuite general ledger. 
Now, if I go back into Airbase, I can see how bills are synced to the general ledger. This amount comes directly as an ACH load from your main checking account to your Airbase money out clearing account. For the entire life cycle of a bill payment, three entries are booked. Number one, the liability. Number two, taking the funds from your funding account to the Airbase cash clearing account. And number three, making the payment via ACH to your vendor. In this case, here's a transaction that was a bill payment for $3,000 and this was done by ACH. Airbase supports multiple different payment types for bills, including ACH, check, vendor credits, international wire transfer to over 200 countries and 145 different currencies, and payments made via virtual card, where you can also earn cash back. Now let's talk about how reimbursements are synced to the general ledger. At 6 p.m. Pacific time, all approved requests for each employee are batched into a single transaction. Airbase will pull reimbursements from your bank account and move it to the Airbase cash account or Airbase clearing account. And then later, transfer that money from your clearing account to your employee's bank account. So let's take a look at what that looks like inside of Airbase. In this example, we have a reimbursement request for two specific reimbursements, both for office supplies, but they're two different items. We can see them here listed, both are for Amazon. We have the note that this is for a reimbursement request on February 15th. We know who the reimbursement owner is, the entry date, the payment date, the subsidiary, and the GL employee name that would be in NetSuite. Now, Airbase syncs all reimbursements into the expense report into NetSuite. Once we click into the expense report in NetSuite, we're gonna be greeted with all of the details we need, including the link to the audit trail in this expense report. Now we can also see the payment entry that has been synced over to NetSuite. And in this case, we're again, gonna have all the information that we need and specifically, we see the payment is coming out of the Airbase clearing account or Airbase cash account. Down below, you can see the expense report and the details. And then over to the right, once again, you have the memo field. And this is going to be the link to the full audit trail of this reimbursement request from the moment it was requested all the way to payment and the syncing to the GL. The audit trail opens up with an Airbase. And from here, you're able to access the receipts, understand all the information about the request and to see the actual entries inside of NetSuite. Airbase's accounting automation functionality and our integration with NetSuite allows you to reduce manual work, ensure consistency and a timely month end close, and making sure your books are kept airtight. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your account executive or your customer success manager for more details.